Juan Carlos Gomez. You've each been given your instructions in the dressing room. I want a clean fight. I want a clean fight. Touch him up. We have prospects and suspects, and by the end of the night, we'll be left with rejects and projects and one or two contenders. Which ones? Sam fighting in the United States for the first time. It's been widely reported uh, on the websites here that his name is the two words, Samuel Sam. He told us yesterday, Samuel is just a middle name. The family name is Sam. So it's Gomez against Sam. Gomez, the southpaw, and by far, in the view of most, the more technically skilled boxer. Sam needs to get close to Gomez, pressure him, crowd him, and land some body shots to have a chance to win. Uh, Sam is putting pressure on him, uh, and that's the only way he's going to be able to fight Gomez. Gomez seems to be wanting to fight a good technical fight, punching, moving, changing, getting away. But if he continues to keep the pressure on him the way he's going, he's going to eventually have to stay toe-to-toe -to -toe with Sam. And you see Sam trying to hurt Gomez to the body with the right hand. He's basically a right-hand puncher. And he got Gomez's attention with that first right-hand shot to the body. And he just landed another right hand. So Juan Carlos backing up and creating distance. And he'll be trying to do that throughout the fight. When they're at arm's length, Gomez is regarded as having a big advantage. He's what you call a real busy workman type fighter. There's Sam firing that right hand to the body again. And with Gomez in the southpaw stance, Sam should have a chance to land his right to the body perhaps more frequently than against some conventional fighter. There's a big right hand upstairs by Sam. Gomez smiling at him, kind of smiling through his teeth. They know each other, as we mentioned before, from their days fighting for the same promoter in Germany. And Gomez has had a tremendous amount of amateur fights. Well, both of them have had a good amateur background to come to think of it. Yeah. <laughs> This has to be a war of attrition for Sam. He's got to take the incoming in order to eventually deal out some of his own incoming. And, and That'll be ruled a slip. Three, nope, uh, they're going to call it a knockdown. Four, five, Sam is trying to insist six, that it wasn't a knockdown, but now he says, OK, seven, I'll take the count. Eight, so two, Gomez gets an early scoring advantage with the knockdown of Sam. That makes it tough on Sam, falling behind the counter-punching, skilled boxer early. Sam seems to be just a step too slow, and Gomez knows it, and that's what he's running his punches off, and then he gets back in a distance right away so that Sam can't catch him with a counter-punch. When we go to Sam's corner, where the trainer will speak German, our interpreter is our German interpreter, Jens Hollick. When we go to Gomez's corner, where the trainer will speak Spanish, our interpreter is Hector Garcia. Breathe in. Come on, breathe in. Take care. Take in air. Juan Carlos. Sin confianza. With a lot of confidence. No deje que se te pegue. Don't let him get no clear, clear, clear to you. Trabajando Don't let him keep throwing that jab and counteract. Counterattack, top and bottom. But you have to keep that jab. Was it a legitimate yes. knockdown? Yes, yeah, a definitely good knockdown. Straight left through the center, followed up with a right hook. So a good first round for Juan Carlos Gomez by CompuBox numbers. 20 of his 24 connected punches were power shots. 20 of 42 power shots against Sam, who isn't exactly a defensive fighter. Oh, you know, and both guys seem to have left themselves open for the straight shots through the center. Particular Sam. Sam coming in with a record of 18 and 0. He had only been knocked down 
once prior to the knockdown now charged against him in the first round here. There is a bit of a soft underbelly in Sam. And Gomez is trying to dig his fists right through it. There's a hard left hand by Gomez. Sam momentarily stunned again as Gomez perfectly targets the straight left hand. Yeah, the speed of Gomez is being a big factor, and he always is twisting, giving him angles, punching, changing directions. See that continually moving, and that seems to be a big problem for Sam because Sam is a straightforward guy. He's not used to making all these pivots and turns. Sam getting tagged more or less at will by Gomez as he comes straight forward, trying to get in a body shot. Gomez just picking his angles and beating Sam to the punch and pot shotting him from the outside. And when he finishes up with every combination, he's always moving Sam's body in one direction and he moves his body off in another direction. Look at that. Moves left, lands a straight left hand again, giggles at his success in the ring. That was a hard right hand by Sam. Yeah, and he finished up with his right hand and, and he moved off to his right. Body shots by Gomez. Sam comes back with one of his own. You see the hand speed advantage for Gomez. <laughs> Sam trying to put everything he can into those right hand shots up under the heart. That's his only chance of getting anything out of his fight is a straight right hand through the center. But he's taking quite a beating in the meantime as he's trying to get in to do that. Gomez goes underneath with the left hand. Gomez must feel as though he's toying with Sam in there. There's such a dramatic disparity in their mobility and skills. And now here's Sam jumping into his face and firing aggressively to try to redress the balance. Gomez looks good at this weight. According to his handlers, uh, he had to suffer to make the cruiserweight weight for several years. He was fighting at around uh, 200 pounds when he wasn't uh, in, in fighting trim back when he was an amateur, they said. Yeah, they, Go ahead. They, as an amateur, he was right in the same weight as the great legendary Felix Savone. And so rather than having fight Savone, they kept sweating him down. And then when he turned professional, he had to continue to do that also. We asked him yesterday if he'd been hit with big right hands before. And as his manager pointed out, you spar a thousand rounds with Felix Savone in training, you've been hit with a few right hands. <laughs> Give him some water. How do you feel? He's faster than you. You have to hunt him. Stay close to him. Keep your protection up. Keep your arms up. You did very well in this round. Keep your hands up and keep close to him. Gomez lands the same straight left again through the center that he landed earlier. His speed is a big factor at this stage of the fight. And as the fight goes on, I think you're going to see Sam getting closer and closer to him because even though he's being outpointed, he's putting a lot of pressure on Gomez and making Gomez throw a lot more punches than he probably would like to be throwing. So the big question becomes how much of Sam or how much can Sam take from Gomez in trying to get in close as he waits to close the distance and land his own big shots. Absolutely, that is the big question. And also, will he bust up or swell up and get cut if he doesn't get hurt too seriously? Break! Can't really stop Gomez's attack, can Sam? I mean, he, he blocks some of them, but by and large, Gomez is just picking his target and firing away. I think Sam has made up in his mind he's going to get hit quite a bit in the fight. He's just going to try to weather it and try to get in close to the and try to get in. Sam trying to use a little head movement to slip a punch or two and get inside. Doesn't work. He gets hit anyway and just keeps pulling forward. The bull of the Bosporus lands an uppercut. Well, he was smart enough to try it again anyway. One thing that's apparent to me is that Gomez really doesn't commit to his punches. No. They're short arm punches. 
good stinging punches. I wouldn't call them heavyweight punches. He has a boxer's mentality. Yes, he's trying to punch and get away right away. He's, he's looking forward to winning the decision. If he wins it by knockout, I think he'll accept it, but I don't think that's in his plans. But on the other hand, there are a lot of guys in the division that he could beat by decision with this skill, his southpaw stance, and the quickness he's showing. Yes, you're right. And, and certainly he'd be favored over any of the other five heavyweights on this card. Samuel Sam's left eye beginning to swell just a little bit. And... Gomez popping that left eye with his right jab. Referee asked Sam to keep him up.